hello friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to show you how to create a packed circle chart if you could see on my screen i have used the sample superstore data set and just calculated the distribution of the overall profit across the different segment and i have used the customized packed circle chart to show the same data so if you want to know how to create a bespoke visualization and create a custom chart then watch this video till then so that you will get very good understanding so let's get started so i will create recreate this chart again for you guys so for that i'll first remove this data and here we go now we don't have anything with us so first thing we will first see what visualization we have to create so we want to create a pack chart across a different segment for the profits over here so you can create it for the sales quantity and other things but for the profit i see this is uh, mostly it is looking good for the profit figures okay so i'll simply copy this data and paste it onto the one excel file over here okay so this is the profit data and i will add the path because circle move from 0 to 360 degrees so i need a path to create a circle so that i created from 1 to 360 and just doubled the number of record of segment okay so i just copy this data over here and i'll paste it over here so remember uh specifically we don't need a profit attribute to be here we can eliminate it and we can simply copy and paste the path and you can we can use this data also so i'll i'll just use this data and i'll show you how to pick the profit from the sample super so data we have the profit field over here so i will just create a new sheet over here and just paste the data from the microsoft excel it will take few seconds yeah we are done so now we have the path over here and the segment we don't need anything so the thing that we need is simply some calculated field so to create circle we need index x and y so index is nothing but simple index like this apply okay then I'll create uh, x axis. x axis will be sine of radians of index. Okay, I'll apply. Okay, now I'll create a y axis, it will be cos radians index like this. Apply. Okay, now we have x and y. And now we have to bring the profit into this field so i will create another calculated field it will be tc dot profit so i'll pick up the max profit of out of it so i'll say window max max or some you can you can calculate anything so i'll and just say sum of profit across a different segment so it will be sum of of profit here we go apply okay now we will create the bin from the path and it will be like create a bin okay all right so now just note this steps drag x to the column drag y to the rows compute using the cells why it is doing because we are not using the bin yet so i'll drag the bin into the detail over here and now i'll say compute using the path then compute using the path for both x and y so we are done with our circle and here uh, we will make some changes to the 
our x and y axis because we have to include the profit figure into this circle so before doing that i'll just show you if i drag the segment into the color i'll get a uh, different colors over here right for different segment and now i'll add the profit into the axis so simply we have to edit our axis over here i'll say multiply by pc profit like this apply okay so this looks pretty interesting design and for y i'll again go and multiply by dc profit oh, yeah. apply boom so now profit figure is included and based on the our profit <coughs> we have adjusted our radius of the circles for a segment okay so hope this point is clear to you and this looks pretty interesting now now uh what we can do uh, we can switch from automatic to line so that it will be like this and this is a cool art i'll just shift this path into the path over here and we get the proper circles like this okay and if i move this to the polygon then the consumer which having the highest profit has been overlapped all the different segment like uh, corporate and home office so to fix this we can sort it sort it by field and here we can say segment okay so simply we will do just manually for now but you can do it you can do it based on the profit it is not available here that's why it is not reflecting uh, the consumer will be on top corporate will be here cool so this looks cool now so this is how you can create a packed circle chart and now we will just adjust our x axis to make it more attractive and to do that we will make some changes into the x axis radius and we go to the edit here and we'll enclose this logic into the bracket and we'll add the pc profit over here so if i hit and apply you can see <coughs> if i do this change on the x all the circle has shifted their axis to x over here and this is how you can create the packed circle chart uh, but i'll do it for y axis because it will look more good on y axis so first i'll move this to the brackets and then i'll add the profit figure over here and boom so now this looks pretty good i'll hide this axis i'll hide the grid lines over here all right use a color brightness apply the color border good cool and if i all right for polygon i think we cannot uh, add up the text label here but that is completely fine so you can add the tooltip to show the figure so i'll add tc profit into tooltip like this so you can see for tc profit consumer 134k for corporate 91k and for home office it is 60k so just cross validate our data over here uh, in the sheet number one for consumer we have around 134k for corporate have our 91k and for home officer 60k so figures are same it is not loosened anywhere so our, our main data is on place it is not missed 
and we are done with our packed circle chart so i hope you like this video hit the thumbs up button share your thoughts into the comment section and do let me know if you are facing any difficulties to develop your tableau dashboard and yeah you can comment or you can share your thoughts in the comment section if you want me to make any specific customized chart or calculation into the tableau so it will be a very good learning for all of us so i'll see the next video till then Take care. Bye-bye.